Hello, I'm Leona Dooley, and this is Ebony, Ivy, and Time in the Kitchen. And this week in the kitchen, we are planning to do wonderful things. We are going to build family. We are going to uh, decorate our kitchen. And we are going to prepare some delicious meals. So if you're interested in all of those things, or some of those things, please stay tuned. All right, today we're gonna to be preparing uh, some corn pudding. And I don't know if you've ever fixed corn pudding before, but it is delicious. And we're starting with, with um, I'm gonna look at three eggs, maybe four. And uh, if I had had, I thought I had a can of just regular corn to add in. So if you want a little more chew to your corn pudding, you'll have to try it. This is the way I do it when I'm fixing just for a normal, weeknight meal. I have three eggs and sometime I'll add a fourth in there just for a little extra protein. But I have three and I think I'll go ahead and put that fourth one in. Okay. And I'm going to give that a good beat. Whipping those up. And what we're doing is that we're actually fixing the custard. So I've got my eggs pretty well beat. And into this, I'm going to add in a fourth cup of sugar. Because this is sweet. And I'm going to, let me whip, whip that up also. I'm going to start with uh, a couple of tablespoons of cornstarch in just a moment, but I do want to put in a pinch of salt. So I'm going to say about a half teaspoon of salt, because you know the salt will help to bring out that flavor. Then this is pink Himalayan salt. Okay, we need some butter. I'm actually going to use some softened butter. Uh, I left some out, but I think the video got what I did it on by accident, so I'm going to have to nuke this for just a second. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've put in uh, about a half stick of butter. And certainly you can make it more um, decadent if you like. But with just these three cans of, um, of cream style corn, I think that's going to be more than enough. And I'm going to have to work on this because I didn't let the butter totally melt. And it's still a little clumpy. But I think by the time I get through, it'll be fine. So I am working that together. Working on it as I go, breaking it into smaller pieces. I'm going to add in two heaping tablespoons of cornstarch. Now you can use flour if that's your uh, your choice. You can certainly do that. I'm using cornstarch today. Now I'm going to whip that in. Take a moment so that it's not clumpy. And 
And now I'm going to add in some milk. And I need to open this can of milk. I'm using Carnation's evaporated milk. I like it in my corn pudding. So I'm going to add in about a half cup. I may not need quite a whole half cup, we'll see. Uh, actually, I think the bowl is a little small, so I'm going to go to the larger bowl and empty everything in there. The eggs, the cornstarch, the sugar, and the works. And then we can work with it. So, and there's a really good mix. start to add in the cream style corn. I'm using three cans. So there's one can. And here's the second can. Now, if you happen to have a little bit of cinnamon, I like to add a dash of vanilla to mine and a little bit of cinnamon. So, let me get those. A little cinnamon and a little of vanilla. Here's my vanilla. And I'm going to put in about a half a cap. Okay, that's enough. This is pure vanilla. And let's see if I can find my cinnamon. I had cinnamon here. And, uh, just kidding. Okay, I'm going to have to find the cinnamon. Okay, I've sprinkled in just a dash of cinnamon. cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla, not enough to really just totally change the taste, but enough to give us the, that little hint of something in the background that you're going to like. Now, when you look at this, if you think you may need a little more liquid. You can certainly do that. I don't think I'm going to need any more liquid. I think I have enough milk to do what I need to do. That half cup was, was sufficient. Now I'm going to put this into my baking dish. up a little bit first. Everything wiped off. Dirty dishes out of here. Certainly don't want cornstarch all over everything. Let's clean that up. And we're 
going to add in our mixture. is going to go into a 350 oven for almost one hour. So I'll see you in an hour. Well, this casserole, this corn pudding casserole, took exactly one hour at 3.50. It's uh, nice and hot. It's still bubbly. And, uh, you know, we have to taste it and see how it's going. So I am getting just a little saucer. Oh, it's got good texture. Taking it out, as you can see. Got it there. I don't want to eat too much because I don't want to kill my dinner, but it smells great. I love the consistency. And it has a good flavor. Now, if you want your sweeter, then certainly you could add more sugar. I only used about a fourth of a cup you could certainly use a half of a cup if you like your corn pudding sweet. But I'm happy with this the way it is and uh, it's delicious. So this is gonna go great with my uh, pork loin wrapped in bacon tonight. So I hope this will be a part of your Thanksgiving menu and uh, it's delicious with greens and green beans, turkey, dressing, and all the rest of the fixing. So, without further ado, have a wonderful evening. I hope this week that you have had a blessed and wonderful week. Thank you to those of you who are new subscribers, and I hope you have certainly enjoyed this week. I have. And it's been fun having you in the kitchen because you know, in this kitchen, we work hard, we love God and family, and we know without a doubt that everything else is just gravy. I pray that you are well and that you have great plans for those in your family and friend circle. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in the kitchen.